Hi everyone, welcome again to my channel. Thanks for the click, I hope you're doing well. So today, as you can see, we are still talking about teaching, speaking, and today we are going to see two very essential issues in the teaching of speaking. Number one is fluency, and number two is accuracy. So you cannot, you cannot teach speaking if you don't take into consideration fluency and accuracy if you don't know the difference or the main differences between fluency and accuracy if you cannot separate the two if you don't know how to teach fluency and how to focus on accuracy or how to focus on fluency today we are going to see some differences between fluency and accuracy and how to teach or focus in the teaching of speaking to focus on fluency and accuracy. This is what we are going to see today. Now let's start with fluency. So when we talk about fluency, it is a kind of maintaining the flow of speech without any pauses, without any stops, without any interruptions. So that means, or which means speaking continuously without, for a certain period of time, without pauses without any disruption, etc. So if a student or a person to be considered as fluent, he should have a mastery of a lot of things. One of them is grammar. So we cannot, we cannot say this person is fluent if he does not master grammar, has not a good mastery of a grammar in also kind of expressions, different expressions especially when we talk about function also vocabulary so in other words the person to be fluent he should have an automatic remember an automatic access to all these things okay so he should have an automatic access to all these things to grammar rules without any thinking about grammar rules to expressions whenever he or she has to use expressions and vocabulary, word choice, and so on and so forth, okay? So that means to have an automatic access to all these things. Not only this, actually, he should also have a mastery of some kind of what we call a formulic, we can say unit or speech unit, like using phrasal verbs, like using collocations, also expressions of routine or routine expressions and idiomatic expressions. So this is what we mean by formulic unit. So if a student or a person is to be considered as a fluent person, he should have a very good mastery or formulic unit or use of formulic unit, by the way, automatically. So this is a key word. This is a very important word in fluency, automatic access to formulaic unit, to grammar, to expressions, to vocabulary without reflection, without thinking about that. Now let's move to accuracy. So we'll talk about accuracy actually. This has to do with a very complete mastery of grammar, of what we call vocabulary, also vocabulary, and much more than that, pronunciation. Okay, pronunciation. So these are some characteristics of being accurate. So it is grammar, it's a complete or a very good mastery of a grammar, of vocabulary, of pronunciation. So if you have this mastery, we can say that this person is accurate. So when we are teaching speaking and we focus on accuracy, this means that students should not make errors, should not make mistakes in grammar, in vocabulary, or word choice, and in pronunciation. So these are very important characteristics of accuracy. Now for teaching, for teaching this, for teaching accuracy or to focus on teaching accuracy in a speaking lesson, there are some techniques in order to enhance the accuracy in the classroom. For example, here, these, these actually, these techniques are most of the time related to errors. When we focus on accuracy, we try to avoid what? Errors in the class. So therefore, there are some techniques that the teacher can use in order to avoid errors or to deal with errors in the classroom. For example, to ask students to correct or to uh, give time for the speaker to maybe spot the errors he or she makes or to ask other students to correct, to correct the speaker's 
errors or at the end the teacher can interfere can interfere to correct the student errors so these are the techniques that the teacher can use to foster to enhance accuracy in the class now when we talk about fluency the teacher can can focus or can maybe encourage task what we call task repetition okay task repetition so teacher can ask students to repeat a certain task to do the task again and again why very simply is to develop fluency so task repetition is a very good way is a very good technique that the teacher can rely on to develop fluency for a student okay so if you ask student for example to repeat a certain conversation or to repeat a certain dialogue again and again for sure they will repeat it fluently without any pauses or disruptions so task repetition is very good for fluency to maintain fluency or to develop fluency i should say now two very important things that you have to keep in mind when we talk about fluency and accuracy outside the classroom outside the classroom okay outside the classroom when students go out of the classroom for sure which one do you think which one do you think students will need a lot fluency or accuracy for sure you have to keep in mind that outside the classroom students need more accuracy why very simply because accuracy is very important is very important for delivering message for meaning is very important for meaning is for very important for delivering a message to be well understood now as you know for example just a very simple example in terms of pronunciation there are some words there are some words that if you pronounce it incorrectly it might mean different thing okay so therefore outside the classroom when students go out maybe in real life they need more accuracy than fluency very simply to make the message clear to deliver the message and for the sake of meaning okay this is number one so outside the classroom we need we need more accuracy okay more than fluency this is for outside the classroom another very important thing that to in the classroom the focus and as long as outside the classroom we need more accuracy for communication for meaning for transmitting the message correctly in classroom there must be a kind of focus on what we call communication strategies this is what we talked about before in another episode which means some strategies that will help learners to deliver the message even even if they have drawbacks or shortage of grammar vocabulary word pronunciation etc which means the student can use can use some strategies when they have problems in accuracy so teachers can teach communication strategies in the classroom to help students to communicate appropriately outside the classroom okay so these are two very essential issues to keep in mind while teaching speaking accuracy and fluency it's very important so when we are teaching speaking and we focus we focus on fluency correcting errors should be avoided so when you keep correcting errors a lot and a lot it's as if you uh, block student or you interrupt student so you give the floor to student to speak because the focus is on fluency on the the flow of speech of speaking okay so that's very important okay so this is these are the main the two main issues that you have to consider while teaching speaking fluency and accuracy so this is fluency and this is accuracy these are techniques that teachers can take into consideration to teach or to focus sorry on accuracy to develop accuracy in the speaking class and this is a very important technique that teacher can rely on or can use to develop as i said fluency in the speaking class task repetition student repeat again and again to develop fluency not only this you can also equip your students with a lot of expressions with vocabulary with formulaic unit phrasal verbs common phrasal verbs common idiomatic expressions and by we can say equipping students with these things students will become fluent in the speaking of english okay so i hope you benefit from this lesson if you have any question or suggestion don't hesitate to let me know see you in another lesson have a good time and goodbye